Facebook. Guess who we got with us live? Mr. Travis Green. I'm here. Woo! What's up, man? I, I was so excited when I when I found out you were coming. Come Seriously. on, man. I was excited when I found so out you were coming. <laughs> no, but when, when Travis first saw me, he looked at me, he said, Nigeria. I'm like, I said, Lord, did, did you speak uh, <laughs> But you I'm go prophetic. You are. <laughs> you go all over Africa, right? Yeah. Traveling. Yeah. You've been to Nigeria several times. Yeah, a lot of times. Yes, I have a partiality. So <laughs> you know that. So there's this whole war about <laughs> Ghanaian or Nigerian jollof rice. Oh. Yeah. Ours is ours is better. I, I don't mean, know. have you tasted? You tasted both. Of course. Well, you know what? You have to go with Ghana because your wife My is wife Ghanaian, Ghanaian. So I won't. I won't even ask. I you. call it Ganjerian rice. So <laughs> both of them together. Works. They're both good. I've They're had both. both. Good. Yes. Now, those of you watching, I'm sure you've heard his songs. So many of them I love. Intentional, made a way, and then you just got your latest song. You waited. Yeah. Just hit number one. Yeah. On the oh, you do your homework. Yes, okay, so I read up on you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but really, like, yeah. you know, I, I heard you, I mean, you've been <clears throat> in this business for like 10 years. Yeah, man. People may seem, they may think, oh, you know, he just hit it and yeah. wow, all his songs. But you've been serving the Lord for 10 years. Did you ever think it would come to this point? Yeah. You did. I did. Wow. I thought it would happen a lot sooner. That was the misconception. Ah, so I thought it was there's like, the lesson here. People. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought like my my first year in was like, hey, we're going all the way. <laughs> no man. Like did did God give you dreams like visions yeah, that you yeah. saw all my life. and then you were like, okay, it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are like two life. people watching. You, exactly. Right? And then yeah, it, it was a it was a slow start. Um, so I had to man, I had to grow up a lot. I had to be stretched a lot. I had to exchange my ambition. Mm. Um, for really just being settled in, in his call and satisfied with him alone. Wow. He had to be enough before um, he could trust me with the stuff. Wow, so. did you hear that, people? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Now, if you don't know, he's also a pastor yeah. uh, of Ford City Church. Yep, Ford yeah. City So make sure Church. you like that, people. Columbia, Go. South Carolina. Yes. Yeah. And you know what, for me, I think it's, it's kind of obvious in your lyrics. Because mm. they're raw, they're powerful, but there's truth to it. Mm. And even like when I listen to it, ah, I, I got you on Pandora too because I stream <laughs> your channel. I'm like, I appreciate it, <laughs> Lord. Like that song, I, I think the first one I heard of you was probably intentional, mm. and then made a way, and that was my anthem, uh -huh. like in January, because they're wow. going through some stuff, and I'm like, don't know how, but you did it. Like yeah. even before God does it, mm -hmm. I'm like, I was singing that song, and so for you in writing the lyrics, like where does it come from? Does God like download it in your sleep, yeah. and you wake up and like? All, yeah, Start writing? All of it. All of yeah. the above. In my sleep, uh, while I'm driving, on airplanes. It just hits me just anywhere, and I just record it. It's funny. Uh, my brother, on our way here, um, I, I played for him the voice memo from You Waited. After we found out it was number one, we're headed to the airport. I was so excited. And I um, said, man, check out the voice memo from when I wrote it. Yeah. And I wrote it on my birthday this you year. Kidding. No. And um, wow. but I just I just sing it right into my phone, you know exactly the way I hear it, and with the music and everything, and then that's it. You wrote it on your birthday, and look what God has done. Yeah, it's crazy. wow. So those watching, encourage him to say, you know, maybe they're also writers or musicians yeah. or whatever they're doing, and yeah. they feel like, okay, no one no one sees me, no one hears me. God, I'm doing this. When am I gonna really make it? Mm -hmm. what, what would you say to them? Uh, man, I would say just be consistent, uh, be faithful. And don't allow the destination to be a distraction. Mm. Um, so many times, you know, when we see ourselves somewhere in the future, um, that becomes an addiction, and then we lose we lose satisfaction for um, the present because we're so addicted and drawn to the future. And so there's goodness in the journey. Mm -hmm. And if you're so focused on getting somewhere, then you miss what God wants to do in and through you where you are. That's so, good. Yeah. Write that down, people. <laughs> it was a tough lesson for me. Yeah. It was a really, really tough lesson. But I finally got there. And when I finally, I remember, I was like, I'm good. Like, you know, I'm good with without with, with or without the promise. Yeah. Like, I'm good with God. And it was like, okay, now you're ready. Wow. And so now I don't get lost in it, you know. Yeah, just, and this guy here is really humble, really. Like, you know when you meet some artists, I'm sorry, I'm not going to name call. But <laughs> you're like, they, they're like, hi, and they're so, but he's <laughs> real. Like, he treats everyone so well so oh, I could tell that really the spirit of the Lord lives in you. Wow, that's huge. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And okay, I gotta talk about this because you hear that wife soon... and my wife watching. You hear that? <laughs> it's 
Real the Lord is in me, woman. No, I'm kidding. Hey, wifey. Um, and your two sons, of course. Yeah, yeah. I got two sons, so I'm, you know, real partial. But I want to talk about uh, where you're going. I know you travel. Your schedule is bananas. Yeah, it's but rough. you're going to Guyana, I believe, on mm-hmm. the 3rd yep. um, for Hope is Rising. Yeah. And I, um, you know, I'm connected with one of the pastors who's going there, Pastor Joe Prasad. And I really want to talk about it because Guyana was one of the highest suicide rates yep. in, in the world. In the world. Yeah. Like, I don't know if y'all know that, but you, he started going there. And you're going there to um to be part of the campaign hope is rising yeah. so can you tell us about yeah that? i mean just coming to bring inspiration and bring hope you mm-hmm. know uh, i think even with the turmoil and the craziness that's been happening um in america you know um and all over the world i think the answer is is found in the name and it's jesus yeah. and so um that's what i'm trying to do that's what i've been doing here and, and what i try to do globally but we're just taking that hope to Guyana, we're just going to lift up his name. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw him in. So we're praying that we're able, by his power, to see people drawn out of, you know, depression, drawn out of the grave, drawn out of darkness, drawn mm-hmm. out of sin, and, and finding their hope in his light. That's, That's awesome. what we're doing. Now, my last question, you know, for, I know you've written many songs, mm-hmm. and they've touched many lives. What is one song or a testimony that someone came up to you and said, I listened to this song, oh, and then God did this? What, Man, I know you have so many. But yeah, we have a bunch of them. Um, one, one is significant, and my brother will remember, will remember this. We were in Philly, and a young lady who was just she was just there, kind of helping, volunteering, and serving the food and stuff um, before the concert. And she pulled me to the side. She was like, "Can I tell you something?" I was like, "Yeah, of course." She said, I, um, "A friend of mine uh, and myself, we were in a car wreck, and the car flipped over several times." Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the car was totaled, um, and she showed me a picture, and it looked like no one should have survived it. And she said, um, she was ejected from the car, wow. and um, that they had my CD playing, and as they laid there unconscious, my, C- my music just kept playing. It didn't go off what? for some reason. Yeah, wow. and said mm-hmm. even when they woke up, the music was just playing, and it kept them calm, and mm-hmm. she just said she believed that it had a lot to do with their survival, and so... That was probably one of the crazier ones. The the power of God through music. And those of you watching on Facebook, hashtag Travis Green. And let us know what song has impacted your life and how God has used this humble man right here to bless you. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you comment, like, share, tell your friends, tell your mama. (laughs) (laughs) At Travis Green TV. That's social media everywhere. Yes. And TravisGreen.tv has all of my information. So Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. Man. We gonna keep listening, Thank keep buying, keep watching. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm heading to Nigeria to give me some jollof. <laughs> I'll make you some, Nigeria. Let's Nigeria. go. Let's go. <laughs>